Welcome to Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma. Increased levels of a protein known as vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF, have been linked with a risk for developing tiny collections of blood breakdown products known as microbleeds in the brain of stroke victims, according to research published online ahead of print in the Archives of Neurology. Here is some information on ischemic stroke. It is a condition in which blood supply to the brain is reduced or cut off. The cause is usually a blockage formed by blood clot or blood vessels that have been narrowed by fat, cholesterol and other substances accumulating on the artery wall. If the blood supply is cut off for more than a few seconds, the affected part of the brain starts to die from oxygen deprivation. Researchers from University College London collected blood samples from 20 stroke victims within 24 hours of the onset of their symptoms. The investigator measured the number of levels of VEGF in the blood. VEGF is released when the brain experiences a period of oxygen deprivation and increases the permeability of blood vessels, making it possible for blood products to leak out. The patients also underwent MRI imaging of their brains to determine who experienced microbleeds. Overall, 25% of the patients had evidence of microbleeds based on their MRI scans. Among those with microbleeds, average levels of VEGF in the blood were higher than for patients without microbleeds. Today's research suggests that measuring VEGF levels in the blood could help predict which stroke victims are at risk of developing microbleeds, which could lead to further damage to the brain. It also suggests that drugs that block VEGF may help prevent microbleeds following a stroke. For Insider Medicine in Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.